Hey, welcome back to Gritty Industries. Today we're going to look at rebuilding the faucet for Mansfield with a vacuum breaker on top. It could be the 300, which is no vacuum breaker, the 400 with a vacuum breaker, or also the 500 series with a vacuum breaker. The 400 and the 500 are the only two with a vacuum breaker. The way you tell the difference is a couple ways. One, this is a 400 and it will only turn three quarters of a turn on and off. Also, let me go ahead and pull the handle. As long as someone hasn't removed it and thrown it away, there's a little plate in here that shows smart turn, 180, half turn. It's actually three quarter, but it says half turn. And that it means it's a 400 series. Okay, to rebuild this, first we got to get in here to the stem. We remove the handle. This is the packing nut. Now, if your packing nut is tan, it loosens to the right. If it's white, it loosens to the left. This one's tan, so it comes off this way. You want to make sure the water's turned off before you do this, by the way. Now, with that off, you go back with the handle and you start unscrewing and then it starts to click. That means you're at the end of the threads. You might need a little help from a pair of pliers or something, but then you just want to pull and pull that stem right out of there. On your stem, you've got a support washer for the packing and the packing. On the other end, the threads that run it in and out, an O-ring down in here, a flat washer for a uh, backflow prevention for a vacuum breaker. And a little cup that holds the washer on the end, the washer and the screw. Now you can take your stem and rebuild it using the 7755 kit. This kit will work on either the 300, 400, or 500 series faucets. So any Mansfield faucet this kit works on. If you notice, it also has both of the nuts for either way yours turns, the tan or the white. You can also order a new stem. When you measure a stem to replace it, you want to measure from all the way from the very end with it extended to the other end. Not to a certain point, just the entire thing. And that's how we show them on the site by the length of overall length. If you do that, the new stem comes rebuilt already, new parts on it, including the packing and washer. When you get it, you may notice that if you measure this stem, it's a 14 inch stem, but it says 10 inch on the bag. That's because a 10 inch hydrant needs a 14 inch long stem because it's measured for 10 inches of wall and it has to be 14 to come on out through the front and get the handle. So even though it says 14, if you measure it, or it says 10, it is 14. Ready? So once you've rebuilt your stem or got the new one, simply slide it in. Once you've got it in, put your packing nut on. And this one goes in backwards because it's the tan one. Snug it up. Then we go with the handle. If you need a new handle, it's a 630-7965 and it fits any Mansfield faucet also. Put our handle back on. Okay. And then the next part is not in that 7755 kit. It's a 7500. It's the vacuum breaker. If this is leaking, there's a piece inside that pops up when you turn the water on to keep water from leaking, but then it drops back down when you turn the water off so it can suck air and never suck back into the house. And that gets the 7500. To replace it, simply get a screwdriver up underneath and pry up on the top. It snaps off. And you take a pair of pliers 
and you unscrew the piece inside. And inside is the little plastic piece with the rubber on it that makes the seal. And all of those pieces are in the kit. You put it back in, rubber up, kind of try to center it in the middle. And then this piece goes right over it. You tighten it down. It's plastic, so don't get too happy with them. You just want to snug it up a little bit with pliers. And then the cap snaps back on. And that's all there is to it, to rebuild a 400 or 500 series faucet. Thanks for coming to Greg Industries, and we'll see you next time.